Hey everybody, it's Rebecca here. I'm at the Fitness Fanatic Mom Studio and I've got Amy with me. And Amy is a baby massage therapist and she's a registered RMT. Amy, I'm gonna let you introduce yourself even further. All right, thanks so much, Rebecca. Um, hi, as Rebecca said, I'm Amy Sutton and I uh, am a registered massage therapist. I've been an RMT for 13 years and I'm a certified infant massage trainer. So certified in teaching parents and caregivers how to massage their babies. And I've been a clinic owner for three years. Amazing, amazing. So tell me about your services. So what exactly do you offer? So for the infant massage, um, it's teaching parents and caregivers all about the techniques that they use to treat the babies, what they're treating, and how it helps the baby in every aspect of their life. Um, and just informing them a little bit more about benefits of massage and giving them some more understanding on the cues that their baby gives them, which actually helps them throughout their day-to-day -day life with the new baby trying to navigate it all. Um, it gives them a better, deeper understanding and yeah, just trying to give parents a little bit of control in a time when uh, doesn't seem to have any, <laughs> many options for control. Yes, for sure, a hundred percent. Yeah, and what what would be your ideal client? Who do you typically do, work with? Um, so any new parents, uh, it can be adoptive parents, it can be grandparents, it can be any caregiver. So I really we try not to use the term you know mom specific because there's yeah. a lot of different shapes and sizes and names for parents out there these days. So um, whatever shape that the parent is in. Um, is my perfect thing. And ideally, babies under the age of four months, you know, the more mobile they are, the harder it is to do massage on them. But For sure. we, we're happy to work with um, any age group if there's any issues, if you're just dealing with a specific thing with quarantine, with constipation. Um, I try to really focus my classes a little bit more so that we can, uh, I can work with anybody in order to help them use the benefits of the yeah, that's amazing. I love it. So everybody has a story and their why. What is your why? I, I've always loved working with kids um, and just being a caregiver uh, for, you know, at the time when I started the course, it's been 10 years and I was just looking for a different field, a different way to help people. And I kind of stumbled into this and I just thought it would be such a cool thing to have, not only for myself, uh, going forward and being able to just help families because um, I know it's a stressful time and now having a two and a half year old myself, I've only furthered my love of infant massage and the understanding of the benefits. For sure. That's amazing. So I kind of get it from what you just said, but what's the best part of your job? <laughs> Working with the little ones, yeah. getting to give some parents a bit of control. Um, and I said that before, but in a time when you really are thrown into a brand new situation and, you know, everybody's saying, do this, do this, try this, try this. There's a million different things out there and it seems like nothing works half the time, but, you know, it's one more tool in your arsenal. And if you can help a baby have a better nap or, you know, use some of that belly pain and make somebody's day a little bit easier, that's, that's awesome for me. Yeah, for sure. hundred percent. And I think a, a lot of parents are looking for that more holistic, you know, look, you know, outlook on things and practices and things that they can take home and add to their tools of, you know, just being able to deal with a cranky baby, you know, it's just one more, one more thing that you can try. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. So if um, someone wanted to come see you, how do they book an appointment with you? What does that all look like? So right now uh, with COVID, I just um, adapted my entire program to an online course. So that is what I did for the first three months of COVID. <laughs> so I, I tried to make it adaptable for online and that means that I do a similar setup like this where we just have a Zoom call. So you can stay in your pajamas, you can still be on home if you have another kid at home or you just want to get together with one of your, you know, either your partner or your grandparent or a really close friend that you're bubbling with, 
then we can sit down at a time that's convenient for both of us. I've made it as flexible as possible and as short as possible because David's attention span is you know, pretty small. Uh, so each class is about 20 minutes long, so it'll take. Um, I, I give myself about 45 minutes to do the class if they need to pause or whatever happens. Um, <laughs> I try to be as flexible as possible. So it's a pretty malleable setup that I have, but generally it's three classes if you want to do the full package, each is 20 minutes long, or you can just do one class that in that have you have more interest in. Right. That's so cool. That's amazing. I love the idea of being able to do it virtually as well too, right? You know, it's hands on, but still, you know, you feel like you're right there helping and, you know, guiding them through everything. Yeah, I felt so, I felt so much for parents when uh, we were all locked down and we couldn't go do any classes or couldn't go anywhere. And what do you do with this little infants when they're not interested in much? So I give you literally something to do and pass the time while they're really ready. <laughs> Yeah, for sure, for sure. What is something that you get asked all the time? Why do babies need massage? <laughs> They're not stressed out. <laughs> um, that's like the number one thing I think I get asked all the time. And I thought the same thing, to be honest, when I had never done the class and uh, learning so much about infants and understanding how much their bodies are bombarded with information constantly they are stressed mm -hmm. like they come from this warm little nook of the world that they know into lights and sounds and they don't even understand that their body is theirs so it's about teaching them that their body is attached to them and teaching them how to move it and what they feel like and uh it just yeah they, they do really need the help <laughs> For sure, for sure. And being a mom yourself, and I'm sure being a busy mom with a little active toddler and, you know, running a business, um, self care is always, you know, big on our minds as mamas. And so, what's your favorite thing to do? How do you practice self care? Uh, for me, self care is a little bit different this year, just being under a lot of stress as everyone has been. And, uh, learning to pivot and trying to keep anxiety and all that stuff at bay, I've been actually trying to do less is my stress reliever for right now. Um, I tend to pack my plate a little bit heavy at times. I think I can take on everything at once and so um, say no and just giving myself some time to either have a bath or I do cupping on myself a lot in my neck and shoulders and my arms um, and stretching. I have a nice back stretch session on my own if my husband's at work, especially if he's to just settle down after a busy day. Love it. Yeah, I love cupping as well, too. That's one of my favorite forms of self care right now. It just it feels so good and the effects last so much longer sometimes, right? Like, oh, it's so good. Um, we're yeah. so excited to have you here at the event and you have a giveaway for us and um, you're going to share that now what your giveaway is. I do. Um, so I wanted to offer one free class to anybody. Um, or to some lucky person rather, <laughs> and other choosing. So basically I have three different classes and they do different parts of the body. And then you learn about either oils or, um, well now I can't remember how I've broken down all my classes, but the winner will get to go through what I've broken the classes down and they can choose one and just learn a little bit about what I'm doing. Amazing. Thank you so much. We really appreciate You're that. Welcome. So we're going to do that draw at the end of the event on um, Saturday when we do the closing. So you guys stay tuned for that. Now, Amy, how do we get a hold of you? How do we find you? What's the best way to contact you to book in or to talk to you more about your services? The best way would be either email or even just send me a message over my uh, Instagram, Amy Sutton RMT. Um, I try to post a little bit about the baby massage on there and just some of the benefits. So you can either follow me on there or just send me an email. Um, my website is aimrmt.com and you can find me on there. Awesome. And I'm going to tag and link everything as well, too, so everybody knows how to get a hold of you. I'm so excited that you joined us today. Thank you so much for sharing about your amazing practice. Thank I am 
Yeah, I'm so excited to be able to share with all you mamas and make sure you go and check Amy out. Thanks for having me. Bye.